Kilo Fox 7, Echo Tango, X-Ray, Portland. Kilo Fox 7, Echo Tango, X-Ray, Portland. Kilo Delta 7, Echo Tango, X-Ray, we've got you loud and clear. Board the International Space Station, welcome aboard. Very good talking with you again. 73s and Godspeed to you and your crew. Thank you so much uh, uh, for the uh, well wishes. We're having a great weekend. And I uh, hope you folks uh, are having the same there in the Portland area. Thank you, thank you so much. Kilo Fox 7, you. Echo Tango, X-Ray, Portland. Very, very good talking with you again in 73. Just want to let you know you've got a big fan club following you on ISSFanClub.com and YouTube. Okay, and the Kilo Fox 7 Echo Tango X-Ray, uh, thank you, David. I really appreciate that. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, looking forward to, uh, I've got a couple more months here on board, and uh, looking forward to uh, giving a shout out to all the great folks there in the Northwest. Uh, thank you so much for joining us aboard the International Space Station, November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra. Hey guys, welcome back to my temporary ham shack. And today, temporary is the operative word. I almost missed that last pass. I was busy talking with a friend and realized that time was approaching quickly and I had all my gear set up in the back of the house so I quickly moved it all forward. Now the reason I did that is because the best um, exposure for my antenna is going to be out on the front of our house for this pass. We we're sitting up on a ridge and this pass just went right across the front of our house and I've got a hook where I can just quickly hang my antenna and I got everything up on the air very quick. I wanted to touch base on a couple of things. Now you guys have heard me talk about this website before, ISSFanClub.com and I use this uh, fairly exclusively to get my tracking data for the International Space Station and this is the tracking sheet for the last pass. I'll talk more about what I do with these sheets in a few minutes. But it basically gives me um, some important information. It gives me the time of the beginning and end of the pass from my location. Now the beginning of that pass is called AOS or acquisition of signal and the end of the pass is called LOS or loss of signal. Somewhere in between on that arc is going to be a height of maximum um, elevation above the horizon and you'll get that information on this as well. Now I save these sheets and I put them in my book. Now you've seen me with this before and um, I'll, I'll go through this in more detail later on because I think it might be useful for some people. But um, in here there's a sleeve where I keep all of these. Now why do I keep them? Well, today I actually made contact with the International Space Station and rather than writing all of that down, I know from the UTC date and time when I talk to the International Space Station. Now I just put that in this folder and I save it. And the reason I save that is part of the fun is contacting and talking with the uh, space station. Another fun thing to do is to get a QSL card. Now what is a QSL card? It's a way that ham radio operators exchange confirmation of contact and some of these cards are quite fancy and some of them are very very collectible the International Space Station QSL card is among those now let me show you what the International Space Station QSL card looks like I printed this off the internet and that is what their card looks like I'm hoping to get a couple of these in the mail now how do you get them if you go to International um, space station issfanclub.com up in the upper right hand menu there's a, a button you can click called QSL and it will give you the address that you send your QSL for your area and location now I just uh, printed a few QSL cards and I should have them uh, back from the printers pretty quick I use Kinko's and as soon as I get them I'm gonna mail them out 
This is my, I have two, I made two of them. This is one of my QSL cards. So that is the front and on the back is a place where you enter all the contact uh, confirmation information. And then this is the other one that I made. So I've got two different QSL cards that I can send out and there's the contact information on the back. Now the other thing I did is I made a QSL card for my buddy Pat. And um, I think what a wonderful gift to give him as he enters his career as a ham radio operator. And uh, it'll be kind of cool to know that he's going to send one of these off and then get a QSL card from the International Space Station. So these are at the printers as well, and I'll give a set of those to Pat. So that's something that ham radio operators do is they collect these QSL cards and um, they're a way of confirming your contact, but also just a fun aspect of the hobby. Now, I've been getting a, a number of emails and private messages from people that are following the channel. And I know I'm off on a tangent right now. I'm really enjoying uh, amateur radio and I'm, I'm enjoying making videos and sharing that. I do plan on doing other videos on my channel, but I've been getting some really cool uh, private messages and emails. Now, if some of you guys follow a channel that I like a lot, tacticalgearhead.com is their website and Tactical Gearhead is their YouTube channel. And that's run by a good friend, uh, John. And he is gonna be taking his um, um, ham radio operator's license um, just in a few days. So we have to stay tuned and see how John does. And it will be fun at some point to have a QSL with John and put that on our YouTube channels. Now I just got an email from Super Slim Jim 43 and thumbs up to you. So his name is Matthew and he asked me a number of questions about how do you get a license, how expensive is the hobby, etc. And I want you to know that I'm in the process of writing a primer on getting into amateur radio and giving you some ideas on how you can get started, where you want to go for resources, and also what you want to do to start your first uh, station. And you should be looking for this fairly soon. I'll have this as a PDF download. Um, and I'm doing this in conjunction. I, actually, I was in the process of doing it anyway, but I got an email from um, ITS Tactical, and they wanted to know if I would be willing to be a co-writer on their channel and website in terms of amateur radio. And I thought, boy, that dovetails nicely because I'm already in the process of writing a, a little primer on that and making a series of videos. So stay tuned for that. And um, if you're not already subscribed to ITS Tactical, good, good channel and website to check out. So be looking for this. I'll let you know in a video soon. It will be available as a, as a PDF download. It'll also have some clickable links. So you can just click on the link and go directly to that resource. Now, I'm also following a fellow ham in the area where, where I'm working right now, Chris, KF7KZX. He is trying to make his first contact with the International Space Station. And every pass that I can, I'm trying to record it, both video and on the audio on my iPhone, so I can um, hopefully post his first contact with the International Space Station. And I'm looking to po post that on the issfanclub.com website. Great place to check out if you're interested in this stuff. So anyway, thanks for stopping back by. And I want you to know I do have other videos coming. I'm just um, in a little tangent right now that I'm enjoying quite a bit. And I hope you guys don't mind. Anyway, 73 KF7 ETX David in Portland, USNER doc out.